actually, I had a few questions about the, the ATM business first. Mm-hmm. Well, not a few. Um, I wanted to know, in your video, you said, it sounded like you said 40 and then 700. I wasn't sure. What, what would you say is about the startup cost to do something? For, you said $40? Uh, no, I thought. I thought it sounded like you said forty to seven hundred or forty seven hundred. I'm not sure which one you said. No, it might be between there. like um. Okay, there, there's two there's ways to do it, right? The big thing is basically you got to get an LLC and all that stuff. That's not gonna be that much money. And then for example, you got to get sorry, an ATM, what? an LLC, like a limited liability mm-hmm. company to protect yourself. Mm-hmm. That's basically like making sure that you and the business are separate. So if you do okay. get sued under any situation, that way they can't come after mm-hmm. your personal mm-hmm. assets and so on. On top of that, sure. when you buy an ATM, you can either pick to buy, for example, a used one made from online or, for example, a new one. That's going to be the most expensive thing, obviously. Now, that can cost mm-hmm. you anywhere from 2000 to 5000 to even more. Then you have to buy, for example, the router and also, for example, the internet service for the whole ATM because it's connected, for example, mm-hmm. with the internet. That's the whole idea. But the big thing is, why do you want to do the ATM business, though? So, I actually, I do a little bit of everything. So, when I saw it, mm-hmm. I was like, wow, that's... I never even came across that idea at all. Um, mm-hmm. I had knew about, I have a couple of friends that do, um, they have the vending machines and things like that, but I never really considered like having that. I'm all about to like just having my source of my passive income. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. And that's I mean, another reason. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, the big thing is that the only problem with the ATM business is basically you got to find a bank that allows those transactions. And mm. for example, a lot of the big banks don't. For, so when you went, when you go to Chase, most likely they'll say no. You got to find a bank that allows you to have that ATM to actually do all that stuff. Because it's basically having money go, like, um, taken out, 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 then put back in, 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 and all that stuff. And some banks don't like that. So it's all about mm-hmm. finding the right the right bank for you. For sure, for sure. Is there a bank that you suggest? Um, you got to find out because they're constantly switching. Mm-hmm. So but yeah, just, the mm-hmm. the company, the the card company that you mentioned on there that Cartronics? you were talking about, they do all that, right? Mm-hmm. They'll connect you. I mean, they're connecting you with the service to actually give you, for example, the back office. The back office will show you basically from your house, like, hey, here's how my ATM's performing. Here's how many transactions I have so far, how much money I've made so far. Mm-mm. It's like the software behind the ATM in a way. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they don't actually, okay. No, no. You have to have like a, like a, like a separate like account for that. Unless and eventually they might start doing that, you know, like a whole, like a whole full service. But last time I checked, they weren't doing that. You've got to start it.